Good morning. Welcome to Coffee and Cards. I'm Jennifer. And this episode, as every episode, is brought to you by whispersandink.net. And we are almost two-thirds the way through celebration. And what, in case you've lived under a rock, celebration is the best time of year because, and I'm sorry, you guys, I got something on my glasses. Um, best time of year because you get, you're going to buy things anyways, and you might as well buy things and get free stuff. So there's a whole little log and actually this would make more sense, right? Full of free stuff. And they're adding more free stuff. Woohoo! So today I'm going to talk to you about how you can get your free stuff. Now, if you have one of these and if you don't, then you need to comment below so that I can get you one. And on the front cover, and that's not mine. So on the front cover right there, and it tells you, see if I can hold still, how to get free stuff. There's two different levels of free things. There's spend 50 and get free, and there's spend 100 and get free. It's easy to spend 50. I'm going to be honest with you. It's easy. You saw what we did last week. If you didn't, go back and watch last week's video. How easy it is to find $125 worth of product. But, so we're going to be talking about earn and celebration stuff this time. But first, I want to do a little show and tell. We don't usually do show and tell, but I was super excited. We had our team meeting this week the Inky Whisper Sisters, and I have a fabulous team. I am I am always very thankful for my team. They give me some great ideas, and I hope to give them great ideas too. But let's talk about, let's talk about swaps because we do swaps. And because I was sick last month, actually I was sick and one of the other girls was sick. We didn't meet last month. So we are challenged for swaps. And if you don't know what swaps are, swaps are cards or a project that each person makes, so we had six people here this time, so you have to make enough to give one to everybody. So you make it pretty much the same or really, really close to the same, but you have to make six so everybody gets one. So like Kareen made that card with the meerkats, and anybody know what this paper is? I'll tell you later. I'll show you the picture. Um, the meerkats, this was her card that she made. How cute is that? And then it has a happy birthday sentiment right here, but it's really, really light. And Miss Paula did this card using the ladybugs and her stamparatus, which is her favorite tool to use. And that's just that center flower. And then there were some other ones, but I got to be honest with you. I don't know why I didn't grab them. Um, mine is up there. And where are the other ones? I don't know where the other ones are. I think I used them for something. I don't remember. Obviously, there's a lot more. There's three other ones, and I don't remember where I put them. I'm so, so sorry, you guys. But then the other one, the other part, so this month's swap was your favorite suite of products. Well, not all of the um, 
items that are in the mini are sweet. However, Miss Paula, she made her own designer series paper because she is loving the bumblebee sweets. So she used two different colors and some ribbon and then thinking of you, sweet friend, is the sentiment that she used right there. And then Becky is loving this poppy parade, or not poppy parade, sorry. The um, peaceful poppies sweet, and she used that beautiful DSP with a different ribbon because she didn't have enough, which is no big deal. So, and I'm loving, that's that reversible ribbon that's old olive on one side and then pretty peacock on the other. Ooh, love that one. And then Miss Corinne, she did also the peaceful poppies, but she decided to stamp hers right here. And then this is the DSP down here. And then she used some of the sequins too. And then that, the sentiment is from the second stamp set in that suite. And then we have our rebel, Julie. Julie wishes that she lived in a tropical climate, uh, climate and she used the Tropic Suite. And that was the card. She even used the embossing folder here, which turned out really cute. And the embellishment. We got, you got to choose between ukuleles and pineapples. And I chose pineapple. So, fun show and tell. But here's, in my two, this one was one of was one of my swaps, and I didn't bring my other swap over here, and I don't know why I didn't do that either. But then we all do a project together, and this was the project that we did together using the lily pad suite, because technically I would call that a suite, even though that's all celebration product the paper and the dies. And the only thing I didn't use was the stamp set. And then of course the twine, because that's already gone. But how cute is that? Little K cups or treats of any sort. You could put a little plastic egg in there and put treats in it for Easter. But my last show and tell was coffee and car, or was my blog post yesterday because I love how this turned out. I have been having so much fun with this suite, you guys, or with this paper, this Please This Punch paper. How stinking cute did that box turn out, or bag? And here, it, so you can put gift card and a little gift in there, and or candy treats, or whatever. Oh my gosh, I love it. This actually could even be um, I was even thinking this could be baby shower. Kind of gender neutral with the flowers, maybe not. But, and then it just slips right on. So that's, that's my um, show and tell today. But let's get back to the freebies. Even though I gave you some ideas for freebies already. Obviously, buying product gets you the $50. But paper pumpkin counts. And I talked about this a couple weeks ago in regards to celebration. You have several different options here that qualify you the three month, the six month, and the 12 month subscriptions that qualify you for free product out of celebration. I am going to show you what. As the direction state, I'm not going to give you any sneak peeks of any of my alternatives yet. How the direction state on the three cards. So if you have not done your paper pumpkin or opened your paper pumpkin, then you're going to want to close your eyes because I'm just going to show them. I'm not going to do any instruction on them. But these were, spoiler alert, that is one card from this month's Paper Pumpkin. 
And then this is card number two. And this one's a fancy fold. It's a buckle. How cute is that? There's that. And then the third card, and these are all as the direction state. I always put all of my cards, one of them together as the direction state. So those are the three cards in your paper pumpkin. If you can't use any of those cards, then we need to talk. How can you not want to do a prepaid subscription and get free stuff? If you do a three month subscription, which is $63, then you qualify for a level one um, freebie, which could be um, this paper. That's a level one freebie. It could be the sentiments, the sending thoughts sentiments. It could be those cute little meerkats. That's a $50, a level one. The stamp set that goes with the lily pad is a level one. Um, the cake that goes with the this month's paper pumpkin because the flowers match that paper pumpkin. And then, let's see, what other things? There's a couple other things in here. The ladybugs are 300. The stamp set that goes with the small bloom punch, that's a $50 spend. Those are all $50. All great, and that stamp set, the flower one, I like the sentiments in that. Um, thank you, congratulations. I'm always amazed but never surprised by your thoughtfulness. Great sentiments in that set. But I want to earn that. That small bloom punch is free with a level two purchase, which is $100. So you want to get this punch? Then you go to the six month subscription, which is $114. And then you can get this punch for free. Or, or you could do the following. Remember the paper we used last week, the Please This Punch paper? I'm still stuck on that paper, you guys. I'm having a ball with that paper. So the Please This Punch paper, and you do, because I still have it, Paula. It's still here. Under my umbrella bundle, which is $30.50, do the half inch circle punch because remember last week we used this half inch circle punch to get all those little flowers out and we're going to do the same thing today excuse me we're going to get a full pack of crumb cake ink i love crumb, or crumb cake cardstock i use crumb cake a lot you guys know that this is my go-to neutral color and then last week we're going to use this subtles all those pretty subtle DSP because of course it's because purple's in there. My Highland Heather. And then we're also going to add in, and I haven't even opened this yet, you guys. We're gonna add in this Subtles DSP pack, which is has the gingham on one side and then it's got the um, diamond shape on the other. And then it's got, let's see, what does this say? I'm trying to remember. Create, share, ink, stamp, and paper. So it's got words on one side and then the little bubbles on the other. And this all goes with this paper pack. So it'll all coordinate. And then... I also added in some of these cute little glim. I know mine looks like a mess, but because I have strips in there. Enamel dots, the glimmers, and then, oh, and I forgot to grab too. We're gonna do the braided trim. And then I also, and I forgot to grab it, but we're gonna do two separate packs of glimmer paper. I did the pink and the sparkle. 
because who doesn't need a little sparkle in their life? I know I do. But these are going to be the items today. All of those items, and I, I again tabulated it all up, is $101.75. So that I can get this punch for free. But here's my question for you. I got the punch for free and I'm super duper excited about it. But, hmm, I think I got more stuff last time because I was able to add some extra stuff. But I'm just saying, I'm going to go around the table and we're going to see what we can do with these products. And I forgot to mail that to Wendy. I also have um, last week's winner and the week before, because I forgot to, to talk about um, prizes. But don't forget that button. I will go around the table and we're going to get to work. Hello, Linda. Hello, Nancy. Okay, guys, cover your eyes because I'm moving the camera. Let's see how did I do? Oh, there we go. Move just a little bit more. All right, you guys, we're good. So, hey, Tracy. Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well this morning. I'm trying to quietly, I know, I just turned myself in. I had coffee cake before we started today. And I'm going to take a swig of coffee. All right, so remember, if you learned anything today, then help others learn as well. And you guys, cover your eyes, you guys, because I'm having issues. There we go. That's good. All right. Had to move the camera a little bit closer. I thought I had it set up. Um, and we had big, big winners. We had Linda... Fleck, who won two weeks ago for cards. And we had um, Darlene, who won cards last week. Oh, I only grabbed one. That's all right. I can split that. So you guys got to get me your addresses. Linda, you don't have to worry about it. I have yours. How's everybody doing this morning? These are Linda's. And then these are Darlene's. And those are done. Can you guys hear me okay? I hope. You guys, are we good? Yes, yes, no, no, maybe, maybe. What can we come up with? I have all sorts of fun stuff. I do have to admit, you guys, I am totally loving the raindrop paper and how cute is that for a boy card? Oh, loving that. Love, love. I think we might have to do that. All right, good. So what's that? It's sunny here today, Nancy. How about you? And Linda, where, remind me. Are you in Wisconsin? I forget. I know you're not close. What's your weather like today? 
thinking. Do four. Sunny, sunny, sunny. Yay, love sunshine. I got schmutz on my paper. Schmutz. All right, easy card to do. You guys hear me going cutting paper. Here's one super easy card, you guys. Done and done. Put it on whatever cardstock you want to put it on. Yes, I thought so. Wisconsin, and you're sunny too. Yay! Everybody's sunny. Gosh knows we could use some sunshine. Holy cow. I got a late start this morning, you guys. And it wasn't because I overslept. It was because I, I um, had a mess to clean up. Apparently the cats had a party last night everywhere and knocked stuff off everything. So I had big messes to clean up this morning. We're gonna go this way. Do, 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 do. And Joe and I were out a lot of the day yesterday. We went out on adventures. I love adventures, but we were adventuring. So I'm think oh, I'm thinking. Because you know how I love getting mileage out of my Is it there it is I know I had a scrap piece of that love getting mileage out of my paper red winged blackbirds ooh Paula that's a good thing it means spring is coming 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 yay all right. I haven't seen any robins yet. Of course. Of course. Empty. Good thing I have more. Good thing. All right. Straight tape runner on, you guys. And I did do it a little crooked. But how cute is that? There's a card front right there. Just using the stuff that we picked. So there's, that could be a super cute little baby shower card. And I'm thinking of baby showers because we have, we have littles coming in our house. Lots of littles coming. So I am super, super excited. Definitely need to get outside today. All right. What else can we come up with? I want to be able to use this. So should we punch out some of the flowers or should we, should we, should we? Because we can punch out or do both. Punch some cardstock ones and punch out some of these. And of course, they're not going to be super simple to cut, punch, only because the colors that I want aren't going to cooperate. And don't be afraid to use those partials, you guys. I was talking about that when we did the umbrellas. Gotta use those partials because you can use them as tucking in pieces. Good morning. Oh, Lynn, 
Congratulations. You are one of the winners for the cards. Ooh, Linda, Lynn said that she saw Robins this morning, girls. Which is very cool. All right. The dog went on an adventure, Lynn says. And let's see. I think we're going to, because we now have this half-inch circle punch, I think we're going to do some little, little flowers. Same way that we did it last time. Can we get more than one? Ooh, look at that. And apparently, and this is, my hand is not shaking because I had too much coffee. I have only had just the swigs you guys have seen. That is all that I've had. All right, so we've got some little flowers. Where is my take your pick tool? There it is. There we go. We've got some little flowers and some full size flowers. And I think we need, here, we'll grab this one. Joe's out getting into trouble this morning already because he's off. on his long weekend. Good morning, Corrine. Good morning, Caramon. Don't forget, if you guys learned something, you know what to do. All right, for this one, I think what we're gonna do this time, I'm gonna move some of this stuff out of my way, is we are going to Two, and I'm again trimming paper guys sorry we're going to create this and you know I'm gonna go for that purple and I think actually instead of the words I think we're gonna use this side And we're not gonna go very big because oh dang it. All right, I guess we're gonna go this way. Because I'm gonna do the purple, the Highland Heather, and we're also going to, again, we're going to add in, I have this little piece of green here, you guys, and it's just hanging around. So we're going to add that. And I think we're going to do the green on the top. What do you guys think? Green on the top or green on the bottom? Hmm. Green on the top or green on the bottom? While well, you guys are figuring that out. I'm going to take a swig of coffee. Kareen says top. What does Logan say, Kareen? Because I know Logan's there. Green on the top or green on the bottom. Everybody likes the top. Okay. Oh, morning, Joyce. All right. So we're going to put the green on the top, which means, and I'm keep going off camera here, girl. Sorry about that. We're going to, and first off, we're going to take a commercial here. Hang on one second. Now we need to figure out, should we do the rain or shine always on my mind or actually no matter the weather? Which one should we do? I need more of a shorter one because I need to put it along the bottom. I want to put it along the bottom. Which one, which one? Ooh. 
No, Lynn, it kind of goes in and out a little bit, and I'm sorry, and that's because of my internet service. Oh, okay. No fighting, Logan. I think I'm going to decide. I think we're going with that. But I'm going to wait one more second to get a response. And trust me, I have made phone call after phone call about it, Lynn, and it's terrible. Trying to work it out. That's why I want to get uh, broadband out here. Lynn, you need to help me do that. Got to talk to all the people you know and your hubby know. No matter the weather. All right. That was Joyce made the first response. No matter the weather. And of course, I pulled out the Highland Heather ink. Of course. So excited. Because purple just makes everything better. Just like Paula says, yellow makes everything better. I think purple makes everything better. No matter the weather. Remember to hold down for three seconds. There we go. All right, now we can add our DSP. I didn't I wanted to make sure to leave enough room for the sentiment girls. And then and our little strip of green which will go over and I will trim off and I'm going to leave a little bit of room there because 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 We're gonna trim that off. Well, you know, we can't all like the same thing, Miss Paula. And that's okay. I'm gonna put the ribbon there. And yes, we're going to tie a bow. really, really working. Our county actually got a grant to expand our broadband internet service. So I am super excited and I'm trying to help make sure that that happens because I really need to get broadband internet, you guys. And I know it's tough to watch sometimes and I'm really, really sorry. I do all the little tricks that I can to get the best picture possible and it just doesn't seem to help. All right, there's our little bow and then we're gonna put some of these, these two full ones we're gonna put on dimensionals. So I appreciate all that stay and watch and put up with my crappy internet. I do, I do. I'm gonna do that like that. And then these we're gonna do, I just saw glue dots. Oh, there they are. We do the best that we can with what we have. That's what I always say. So we're gonna put this one there. So it looks like it's tucked underneath. And, oh, that's not going to be the right color. We're going to need a different color. Yes, life would be very, very boring if we were all the same. I would agree. I would, I would. 
think we're going to pull this one. Would not be nearly as interesting. And you know what? What would you have to learn? That's my thing. If everybody were the same, we wouldn't have anything new and exciting. It would be just ho-hum all the time. Who wants ho-hum? Not me. Apparently, I didn't take that off. I'm thinking we're going to stick that right there. Apparently, the back didn't come off of that. So we're going to stick that there. And then... I know where we'll put this purple one because we don't want to leave anybody. We don't want to leave anybody out. So we're going to butt it up against that way. Now do you guys see why I've been having so much fun with this paper? Love it. Love, love, love it. I'm thinking one of these will be dimensional. And then we'll do this one. Put this down here. And we'll put, oops, this one up here. Just like that. So there is our second front, you guys. Just like that. Hey, Monica. And then no matter the weather, friends forever. There's our front. So we have two really cute cards using the things from your $100 so that you can get your punch for free. Anybody have any questions? I will include at the on the post the size of this, this card front here. Paula is three and three quarters across by five inches. And this I cut at four inches and I made it five and a quarter by adding that extender piece. But that's what the measurements are. And then regular card base. I can only see part of your comment, Linda. I'm loving this designer series paper. This one is from the Subtles pack. And then this one plus this little green piece and the green piece here and the flowers are all from that Please This Punch. And that is not in any catalog. That is only available through the um, coordination information. And I will post the number on the blog or on the Facebook page post afterwards because I don't oh actually I do have it written down the please this punch number is one five three five five eight again one five three five five eight all right guys coffee and cards is done I know you want your free product, and next week I'm hoping, I'm almost positive my order will get here. I'm hoping that I will have some of the new Celebration editions by next, by next Coffee and Cards. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. I know I love the Please This Punch Paper. And as always, if you learned something today, which if you share, if you learned something today, then please help others learn and win your own card pack of cards. And yes, I do mail and everybody wins. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day getting crafty, you guys. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye, guys.